Hey everybody, Short Box Pug here, and uh, got another CGC unboxing. This one is only going to be one book. It is a value tier book, and uh, let's see what we got. So I do not know the grade of this book. Um, it is a, a good key, a good key book. Uh, I was hoping for like a mid-grade copy of this, or for this to come out of mid-grade. Um, right, so make sure I got this covered. Alright, so we have Avengers number 57. This is the first appearance of the uh, Silver Age Vision, Black Widow, and Ultron appearance. So, this is definitely not the highest grade copy. <laughs> I was hoping for a 5. I got it pressed and cleaned. Um, I originally thought it was going to be a 4. does definitely have issues. So let's see what we got. 5-5? Five, five? That's amazing. I did not think this was going to get a 5.5. Five. Wow. Very cool. You know, with WandaVision, uh, definitely this is a book that more people were trying to get. Uh, a lot of people really like the show. And this is a, it's a nice book. I originally paid $100 for this. And to have it come out, 5.5 uh, five is pretty good. Very happy with that. All right. So, just got these out. Just double check. Okay, so here's the front. So, try not to look at this. I'm pretty sure I just showed you guys all the grade. <laughs> yes, yeah, so right here we have Berserker number one. This is a second print um, foil cover. Uh, I thought this was going to be a 9 8. This is a gorgeous cover. Had to send this in. Um, let's see what we got. 9 8. Very cool. I was hoping for a 9.9, nine, you know, you never know, but uh, <laughs> cool with the 9.8, that's pretty sick. Bye. And then this is another modern book, another new one. Um, not as hard to find as uh, the Berserker, number one. This is Tankers, number one from Bad Idea. Um, I'm a big fan so far of these Bad Idea books. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, the story for this is pretty ridiculous, but uh, I mean, <laughs> still pretty awesome so I thought this was gonna be a 9.8 hoping for 9.9s on these I've seen a couple ENIAC number ones get 9.9 so I'm hoping it's possible hoping we got one let's see 9.8 okay cool still cool I love this back cover <laughs> very happy with the 9.8 for this um, two awesome books came back the grade I wanted I have another CGC unboxing so this one I believe is about 13 books over 13 um, I don't know the grades for these books yet, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so some of these, or they're all modern tier. Some of them are going to be 9.8, some of them I know will not. So let's take a look what we got first. Something is Killing the Children, number one. This is the local comic shop day edition or the seventh print. Um, this I thought was going to get a 9.8. It's a really clean copy. Let's see what we got. 9.8, very cool. So far, so good. There should be two of these in here. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, here's number two. <laughs> so same thing, I think it should be a 9.8. Let's see what we got. 9.8, very cool. These prices uh, for this book are just exploding and I believe these later prints will still go up. I know the print run for these were a lot larger than some of the other um, prints. I think this one had about 30,000. But I still feel like, in general, these prices are going to keep going up because these other books are so unobtainable for a book that just came out, like, last year or a year and a half ago, whatever it was. Uh, or, no, just last year, actually. Um, it's, it's a little crazy, but spending, like, 1300 on a first print just is unrealistic for a lot of people. So I think these 7th uh, and 8th prints will have a lot of room to grow since the other ones are still around $400. So let's see what we got here. Haha ha, number one. So this is a book for my PC. I love Haha. Ha. Um, it's a very good read. I love this cover. It's kind of psychedelic. <laughs> um, I thought this was going to be a 9.8. It's a 9.8. Very cool. I'm a, I'm a big fan of these. I think I have like 10 Haha's ha in total. Uh, most of them at CGC right now. So we'll be unboxing more of those uh, in the weeks to come here. All right, so we got Batgirl number 50. This is uh, the Joshua Middleton cover. Also the first appearance of 
the current Batgirl from, uh, or Batwoman from the CW show, I believe. Um, I actually got this cover not knowing anything about it. I pre-ordered it just because of the Middleton cover. I was a huge fan of it. And uh, yeah, having it be a little minor key is just added. So I thought this was gonna be a 9-8. Let's see what we got. 9-8, very cool. I'm a big fan of Middleton's covers. Um, not all of them per se, but I like the ones that he does back. I think, I think he draws the character so well. All right, so up next we have Thanos 13. This is a lenticular cover, first cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, this should be a 9-8, hoping for a 9-9, but let's see what we got. 9-8, very cool. I bought that from a collection a while back. I uh, wanted to send it, but I just have so many other things that I needed to send, so I had some filler for this one, so I was like, yeah, I'll send that in. Alright, so, Deadly Class number one. This is the first appearance of Marcos, uh, or Marcus Lopez, Saya, Maria, Willie Lewis, Master Lin, and the King's Dominion School of the Deadly Arts. I'm a huge fan of Rick Remender. Um, I was a big fan of the this uh, series. I, I think this is a 9.8. It, it may be a 9.6 though, because there is a bit of color rub. Anybody that knows this book, this bottom part is really hard because it's really dark, and then the back is completely white. I don't wanna look at the grade, but the back is completely white, so it does often get markings on it. Mine did. Um, they're not too bad, but it's a lot. It, it actually is kind of bad. I'll, I'll see if you guys can see that. It's a little. It's a little bad. <laughs> so I was thinking this is a nine eight, uh, maybe a nine six. Let's see what we got. Nine eight. Very cool. Whew. That's a relief because I really wanted this in a nine eight. If you guys haven't, give Deadly Class a read. It's really good. I know the TV show got canceled and all that. I I never saw the TV show because I don't really have cable for now, <laughs> or at least I don't have sci-fi. Um, but. I thought, I thought the book is fantastic. I, I, I would think the TV show would be probably bad because it's on sci-fi. <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, okay. Here's a, here's one I'm excited for. So Uncanny X-Men 282. This is the first Bishop. Um, I'm nervous. Yeah, no, it's not getting a 9-8. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking it would be uh, a 9-6 maybe. Let's see what we got. Nine four. I'm I'm happy with that. That's still really good. I got this for a very good price before prices started going up on this, just because I like the character. Oh, this is a really nice looking nine four though. That's a bummer, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm still happy because it's a it's an awesome character, and I'm sure we'll see him in the Disney Marvel universe very soon. I right, so Department of Truth number one. This is a good book. I have a lot of these I need to send. Uh, I've just been hoarding them for quite a bit, and now I'm finally starting to send them out. Um, I was thinking this should be a 9-8. I mean, it's, it's a very clean copy. Let's see what we got. 9-8, very cool. Oof, I'm holding on to this. I have made my mistakes from selling books too early, so uh, I'm definitely going to hoard my Department of Truths until, uh, until the time is right. <laughs> Alright, oh, there is a invoice in this one. Okay, so this we have kill or right here we have Philadelphia number one. Uh, I have a couple of these currently at CGC. Um, I'm a big fan of this series. I think this is a 9-8, but anybody that knows this book knows that it is very black on the front cover and very white on the back cover. So there is a lot of issues or possible issues you can get from color rub ticks or just you know dirt grime if uh, they weren't bagged and boarded at the shops i thought this is a nine eight though maybe a nine six let's see what we got nine eight very cool yeah this back cover did have a lot of rub so i'm actually really happy that it came out in nine eight you know sometimes the graders will look at it and be like you know what it's a nine eight other times i feel like they will just butcher it <laughs> oh okay so this is my second copy of this added She-Hulk. This one I knew was gonna be very low. Um, I was probably thinking a 3.5. Um, it is a new stand. It presents pretty good. There's just some tanning and then there's a chunk missing here and a chunk missing here. So I was thinking a 3.5, let's see what we got. 3.0, off white pages, I'm fine with that. Um, I mean, it, 
I, I just think it presents a decent it's it's not a bad book it's just missing some some corners but <laughs> I overall I'm, I'm happy with this uh, originally I got it pressed and clean because it was like it was really bad with the waviness and there was water damage on it but I think I did a really good job I'm, I'm happy with the 3 -0. all right so okay we got Black Panther number five this is where Sherry becomes a new Black Panther um, this one was not as nice as my other one. I had a 9.6, uh, one of my last videos. This, I thought, was going to be an 8. Uh, it just has more ticks. It has more issues. There's some whitening up here. Um, what else is wrong with this one? Oh, there's a lot of rub on the back. More ticks. So I was thinking an 8. Let's see what we got. 8.5. White pages. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, there's, a, there's probably like 8 ticks on this thing, so I'm happy with an 8.5. That J. Scott Campbell cover, very nice. That's gonna be a good book uh, in the coming coming years, or actually probably this year. Um, ooh, okay, so we got Superior Carnage number one. Anybody else excited for Carnage and Venom? Yeah, I am. Um, I think he looks awesome. I just feel like the last Venom movie was absolute garbage. I will argue with you on the comments about, no, I'm kidding. No, but I, I, did, I was not a fan of the first Venom movie. I feel like this one's gonna be about the same, um, but I will watch it just because Carnage and <sighs> hopefully it's good. <laughs> okay, so this is for uh, Spider-Man number one, cover homage. Um, I was thinking of the 9-8, it's a clean copy. 9-8, very cool. Yeah, there was the, the only thing that was wrong with this is there was a small tick on the front that somewhat broke color, not massively, but um, you know, it's it's a gamble at that situation because you could get a 9.8, you could get a 9.6. But usually I'll, I'll take that gamble and I'll come out with a 9.8. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, okay. So uh, the boys, Dear Bucky, number one. This is the second printing Scorpion Edition A. The boys is such a sick show and this cover is so cool. Um, not as cool as the first print, but, you know, it's an expensive book now. Uh, so I'll take the second print. I thought this was gonna be a 9.8. I think there was something in a, like a, the binary tear was a little too big on the back, but let's see what we got. 9.8, very cool. Actually, no, I'm thinking of my other copy. This one was actually really clean. Okay, cool. So let's see what we got first here. Oh, sorry, the band is killing me already. All right, so Hawkeye number nine. Um, this is a good little spec book to have right now uh, as the Hawkeye show comes out. I thought this was a 9.8. It's, uh, it's a white cover with a good amount of black on it, so, you know, who knows what can happen, but hoping for a 9.8. We got a 9.8 white pages. Very cool. Happy with that one. So it's one for one so far. <clears throat> trying to remember what else I sent in here. It's nothing, like, too crazy. Okay. Haha -ha number one. Very cool. I am a huge fan of the series. I have a lot of these at CGC, going to CGC, ready to go. <laughs> so I thought this was gonna be a 9.8. This is one of my cleaner copies. Let's see what we got. 9.8, very cool. Whew, very happy. Uh, I'm a big fan of this series so far and I will continue to buy these whenever I see them and get them graded. I think it's a solid spec book. With the success of Ice Cream Man, I know this book is printed way more than Ice Cream Man, but still, I feel like it's a good book to pick up whenever you see it. Ooh, Department of Truth number one. Uh, this is going to be the Frizen variant. I thought this was going to be a 9.8. I don't see any. Ooh, I see a tick there. I see two ticks. All right, let's see what we got. 9.8. Very cool. Happy to get a 9.8. Goes to show you guys, if you have one or two ticks, still... Could be worth it to roll the dice. Uh, I've gotten very lucky in the past with 9.8s with some ticks. As long as it's not too bad, I think you might be good to go. All right, so these should be the two left. So they're both going to be uh, Titans Academy, or Teen Titans Academy, sorry about that, number one. I'm a big fan of this series. I have a lot of these number ones. Thought might as well start sending them over. Uh, these should be a 9.8. Let's see what we got. 9.8, very cool. Yeah, these you're not going to have many problems with. I know with some of the future state books, the print quality on a lot of the A covers was god awful. 
I have a bunch of swamp things that the, the spine is just riddled with, with weird markings. So I'm glad with Infinite Frontier I haven't seen those issues, so DC is doing it right again. All right, last but not least, Teen Titans Academy number one. Should be a 9-8. Is a 9-8. There we go. Very cool. Hey everybody, Short Box Bug here. Today I have another CGC unboxing. So I tried to record this last night and it didn't save for whatever reason, so I already saw all these books. There's some highs, definitely some lows. <laughs> uh, let me show you guys. What's going on. So up first, we have Dark Knight's Death Metal number seven. This is the first cameo appearance of Yara, um, the new Wonder Woman, or new Wonder Girl. Um, I thought this was gonna be a 9-8. It got a 9-8, I was happy with that. Um, let's see what else we got here. All right, next up, Philadelphia number one. Um, I thought this was gonna be a 9-8, and we got a 9-8 on it, so that's nice. Big fan of Philadelphia. If you guys haven't read the series, I, I recommend it. It's a good read. All right, next we have Future State Teen Titans number two. This is the Dustin Wind cover. Um, I thought this was gonna be a 9-8. It got a 9-8. I was really disappointed when this first came out because shops were upselling it so much. A lot of the shops I go to, unfortunately, were selling it for like 10 bucks, 10 to 15 when it first came out, which sucks because I didn't pre-order it, so I had to pay that price, but it is what it is. Up next, I have Haha ha number one. This is the B cover variant. This one got a 9-8. There's a couple of these in here, as well as the first, uh, or the A covers. <clears throat> next up, we have Batman 666. This is the first Damian Wayne as Batman and the uh, first appearance of Professor Pig. And then we got a 9-6 on it. Hoping for a 9-8, but I'm, I'm happy with a 9-6. This is a book I've had in my collection for about seven years. Never got graded. You know, it's just a cool little thing. I thought Professor Pig was a funny joke. Um, nice to see. Getting a little value in the book now. Okay, so Daredevil 26. This is the first appearance of a character. I can't remember who it is off the top of my head. Um, I believe it's... Daredevil's new sidekick or Electra's new side sidekick. Um, so I thought this was gonna be a 9-8. It got the 9-8, very cool. I do love this uh, King and Black variant. It's very cool. All right, up next, got some Ice Cream Man goodness. Ice Cream Man presents Quarantine Comic Special number one. This is the one for store variant, the foil variant. Thought this was gonna be a 9-8. I thought it could be a 9.6 because there's one tick on there, but it got the 9.8, so very good. You know, th some of these uh, foil covers, you never know how it's gonna go because they can get scratched really easy and that brings down the grade. It's uh, it's not fun, but I'm glad it got the 9.8. I usually don't try to send too many foils out, They're like pure foils like that. Okay, so Spider-Man number one, or Spider-Man Unlimited number one, First Appearance of Shriek. This is actually my friend's book. Uh, we got degraded for him. Uh, we were hoping for a 9-8, but we think it's going to be a 9-6. Or we thought it was going to be a 9-6, and it got a 9-6. <clears throat> you never know. Sometimes you get the 9-8 when it has ticks, sometimes you don't. It just all depends. We've gotten a couple books where there was one or two spine ticks on it. Still got the 9-8, no problem. This one had the same. Got the 9-6. It is what it is. All right, so next we got Haha ha number one. This is the A cover. Uh, hope for a 9-8. Got the 9-8. I love this book. This is, a, this is a great read. Really glad that it uh, it got the good grade. See, because this one has two ticks on it, too. Still got the 9-8. <clears throat> okay, so one of the bigger books in the submission. Um, Department of Truth number one. This book is just taken off. Uh, and rightfully so. It's an amazing book. The, I thought it was going to be a 9-8, and I got a 9-8. Really happy. There is one more Department of Truth in this submission. For first print, at least, in this submission. Um, next, we have Invincible number one. This is the local comic shop day edition. This is just a reprint of number one with the gold emboss. There's also a red ruby one, I believe, that's limited to, like, I think 500. Um, this one is really cool. I'm glad I have it. Um, I was hoping for a 9-8, got a 
got a 9-8. I know I've seen 9-9s and 10s of these. Or I believe it was just 9-9s, actually. Um, hopefully I can get one one day. I'm gonna send some more, since they now have the new Invincible label. So I'm gonna send some Invincible books out to get that label. <clears throat> Up next, I've discovered country number one. Um, love this book. Thought it was gonna be a 9-8. Got a 9-8. With this cover, it is a little, it's not scary to send, but it's like, it's more of a risk because the front is so white and the back is so blue. Um, you can get a lot of color rub on that back. Also on the front, it gets dirty really easy. Um, luckily, all my copies are pretty good, so I don't have to worry about that, but yeah. All right, next up, we got Ice Cream Man number 20. This is the Green Knights and Ham cover homage. Um, hoping for a 98. Got a 98. Very cool. I think there's one more of these in this submission. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next box. Okay, so. This is a cool book. Next we have Infidel number one. This is the We Believe in Comics variant, uh, Virgin variant. If you haven't read this book, read it. It's a very good read. Um, I was hoping for a 9-8 and we got a 9-8. Very cool. I believe this book was supposed to be optioned. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, I picked those up when it first came out. I was really glad I did. All right. Next up we have Batman, Dr The Drown number one. I was hoping for a 9-8, got a 9-8 setting these in because I want to get some statues from the Dark Knights and uh, I just thought it'd be cool to have the 9-8s next to them. <clears throat> Alright, next up we got another Invincible number one. Uh, hoping for a 9-8. Got the 9-8. Very cool. I love this cover because it's like the background is all the other covers. It's pretty cool. These so we don't have a slab avalanche, so that will not be good. <clears throat> Alright, so next up we got sheet number two. I was, this is for my PC. Um, I was hoping for a 9 8, got a 9 8. I don't know if you guys can see, but behind me I have a chew number one signed by Rob Kilroy and an I know. Uh, I'm a big fan of chew, it's one of my favorite series. Um, I'm slowly gonna try to get most of the run 9 8 ed, but uh, it just takes time. <laughs> uh, next I have Infinite Frontier Zero. Uh, I was a big fan of this wraparound cover and I actually really like this issue. I just wanted to get it slabbed. I was hoping for a 9-8 and I got a 9 -8. Not a big surprise, it's a new book, but it's just a cool book. Uh, uh, so next I got another Department of Truth number one. This is the second print cover. Um, I was hoping for a 9-8, got the 9-8, very cool. <clears throat> Uh, so up next we have another Ice Cream Man number twenty, the free, uh, the local comic shop day edition. Um, open for a nine eight, and we got another nine eight. So we're two for two on those so far. I love these Doctor Seuss cover swipes. I think they did it for the first, second, and third print. I don't know if they're the fourth print for that one, but maybe this is technically the fourth print. Uh, so Strange Academy number one, this is the fifth printing. Uh, I'm a big fan of this book. Uh, I thought this would be a 9-8, and it got the 9-8. I also like sketch cover, or black and white covers, I guess you could call this, because it's not really a sketch. But um, yeah, I'm glad uh, I picked those up. It's a cool little book. Uh, next, we have Ha Ha number one, um, the B cover. Uh, I was hoping for a 9-8 on these. This one did get a 9-6, so this is gonna be my PC collection. Um, I don't really mind having a 9.6 on my PC, not a big deal. but uh, I do love these books and I wanted to hold on to some of these, so. Up next, another HaHa -ha number one, um, hoping for a 9.8, and we got a 9.8 on this one. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Right. So, next up, HaHa -ha number one, 9.6, so this one is also going to be my PC book. <laughs> I do have even more hahas to send, so that will be happening one day, just with turnaround times and CGC costs. Gotta send them in slowly. All right, next is Batman 106. This is the first appearance of Mariko Molly in Cameo. Um, really glad they put this on there. Big fan of Tinian and his run so far. Want to get this labbed. We got the 9-8. Also, this cover is just amazing. I really love George Jimenez. Uh, his art is so cool. Uh, so, 
so not a big book. Well, not a big book, but in size. <laughs> Joker 80th anniversary, 100 page, super spectacular. Number one this is the original punchline. This is the Midtown Comics C cover from Lee and Inyuk. Inyuk. Inyuk Lee. Sorry, guys. Butchered that. <clears throat> so, uh, hoping for a 9 8. Got a 9 8. I'm a big fan of Inyuk Lee's art. Um, definitely a talented artist. I love his covers. <laughs> So when I saw that one, there was another one. I think the B cover had like flames behind it. I wasn't a big fan of that. I like the just the white like the space one. Looks cool. All right, so haha -ha number one. Um, hoping for a nine eight. We got a nine eight on this one. Very cool. All right, so now we're gonna get down to some of the controversy that CBC has put upon me. Maybe not controversy, but uh, disappointments. I'll start with those later, or I'll end with those. So, Basket of Heads, number one from Joe Hill. 9-8, uh, very cool book. Uh, Joe Hill's a talented writer. Can't wait to see what else he does in the world of comics. <clears throat> okay, so this book is not mine, it is a buddy of mine's. This is uh, Thor God of Thunder, number two. First appearance of Gore the God Butcher and the Necro Sword. Uh, we're hoping for an 8 0. We got 8 5, so that's pretty cool. For those asking, he just wanted this slabbed because it's a good key. And uh, th he's been reading this series, or he picked up these books when the series first came out. And then when he heard Christian Bell's gonna be Gore, he just wanted to get it graded. Not a, not a huge slabber, but uh, he wants to get the ones he likes slapped. Uh, so the boys hero guys are number one. I was hoping for a 9-2 and I got 9-0, which I'm fine with. I got this book for a good deal. Very happy for, with it. Um, should be uh, pretty cool to see in uh, the boys show. So definitely glad. Up next, we got Detective Comics 583 for Spirits of Scarface and the Ventriloquist. And... Uh, Hoping for a 9-8 on this, we got a 9-6. I'm really fine with that. Uh, I've I had this book for such a long time in my collection, and I just never sent it in to get graded. And now I did. Glad I did, because it's, uh, it's definitely a good minor key, and uh, it's a high grade. Very happy. So this is a bigger book, or a book that's been growing. Green Lantern number 25 for Spirits of Lafree, Larfres, Larflees, I can never say it, I'm sorry guys, and Atrocitus. Um, I'm a huge fan of this run uh, from Jeff Johns. Um, having this in a high grade was was a challenge to find. I always find like 8.5 copies, 8.0s. This one is luckily a 9.6. I was hoping for a 9.8, but there were two issues with it. And I was hoping it would press out, but it didn't fully press out. So I was happy with a 9.6 nonetheless. Okay. So we're going to get up next we have... Batman number six. This is for my PC. This is one. This is my reader copy. I wanted to get it graded because I love this cover. I love this uh, run. Um, came back a nine two. I was hoping for a nine four, but a uh, nine two is fine. <clears throat> okay, down to the last ones, guys. So after this one, we're gonna go over these quality control issues that CGC has hit me with. Uh, Something's killing the children. Number eleven this is the Virgin cover. The Prison cover. I love this cover. I uh, wanted to get it graded. Came back a 9-8, very happy with that. Okay, so. <sighs> Up next, Department of Truth number one. Got a 9-8, very happy. Looking on the book, I'm like, what is this down here? Looks like a piece of cardboard is actually on the cover. So, that's gotta go back. Which is disappointing, because it is a a good book at that too. Uh, issue number two. This is a book from my PC. I want to get slapped because it was one of the first uh, books I started picking up when I got back into comics. Um, Walking Dead 100. Chronom Chronomium variant. There is somebody's beard hair in the top right corner. So that's got to go back. Which sucks because the wait times are so long, hopefully it won't take that long. Uh, this is the one that hurts me the most though. <laughs> Out of all the books to get damaged, or all the slabs to get damaged, 
It happened with Stray Dogs number one, The Silence of the Lamb variant. Um, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Unfortunately, part of the slab chipped off right here. But it's so weird because it looks like it's in the inside, but there's literally the piece of the slab right here. Yeah, I don't know. Very unfortunate. But uh, glad to have this book at the 9 8. It's a co very cool book. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, that definitely happened. So that's it for this submission. I do have another 200 books at CGC right now that will probably be back in about six months. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but it, it probably will be about six months. Um, I gotta call CGC and see uh, if they can send me a label so I can send these books back, some of them back to get these, the hair out of there, the cardboard out of there, get a reholder. Um, thanks again for watching those guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll be putting more videos up soon. Thanks.